Good morning, this is Bill of Power Hungry. Today we're going to show you the right way to install a chip, any chip, hydro chip or otherwise, in an OBS 7.3. One of the biggest problems that we've seen is we've seen a lot of videos with people who install chips and they do not remove the PCM from the vehicle. This is not a good idea. It can cause damage to the chip, it can cause damage to the PCM, and it really doesn't make the process any easier. So we're going to go ahead and get started uh, getting the PCM out of here and we'll be back with you in just a second. So the PCM is located here on the firewall right next to the fender. There's the connector with the bolt. It's a 10 millimeter bolt in the middle of the PCM. I'm going to go ahead and loosen that up and then the connector will pull straight out. And once we've got the connector out of the way, we can go ahead and remove this rubber boot. Go ahead and loosen these and set the bolts aside so they don't get lost. The lower one's a little tricky. All right, we've got that out of the way. And then the bracket should just, or the boot should just pop right off. And now you can see the PCM. The PCM will slide out. But the problem is, is that the fender liner is in the way. We're going to want to pull these two bolts out of the fender liner. One at about 1 o'clock in the fender, the other one at about 2 o'clock. So we'll go ahead and pull these out. And then once we go ahead and have these out, use a small bar or broom handle to pop the fender liner out. So what we're going to do now is we're going to take this pry bar and slide it up in between where the two bolts were. Put a piece of rag or, or some kind of padding in there so that you don't dent the fender. And then you're just going to pry up. And what this does is it pops the fender down and provides clearance for the uh, PCM. You can see where the pry bar is coming through here. It's pushing down on the fender. And this will allow us access to so just go ahead and slide our PCM out. And then now it comes. Don't, don't be afraid to you know, put some pressure on it. It's not going to hurt the board. It's not going to hurt the... We're going to go ahead and reinstall the PCM. We've got it all cleaned up now. Uh, reinstalling is basically the reverse of removal. The one thing you do want to make sure is that the sticker is facing the fender. That's back in there. Go ahead and put the rubber boot back on. So now that we've got the PCM cleaned and installed back in the slot, we're going to go ahead and remove the emergency brake assembly. Uh, we do this in order to be able to get the chip installed and then run the wiring for the switch and cable. And we'll get this, uh, we'll get this out of here in just a second. So we've got the last of the nuts coming off. You'll have to grab it by the cable and kind of wiggle it around the uh, kick panel here. And now once that's done, just hold it down out of the way. And you'll be able to see the back of the PCM here. This is where the chip will go on. And then we're, we're going to run the switch up over this aluminum bracket for the dash. All right, so we've got the cable run and we ran it over the aluminum uh, dash bracket. I don't like having it come out right behind the emergency brake and a lot of people install them there. Um, if you don't get it through the groove up here, it'll pinch behind the bracket and it'll cut that cable or short it out and that can cause the PCM to be damaged or the chip to be damaged. So instead we run it up over the top of the bracket. So get the cable plugged on, slip the chip in there. Uh, as always, make sure the key is not in the ignition when you're doing this. Uh, don't want any power going to the ECM or you can damage the ECM and the chip. Get that pushed on nice and snug. And we'll move this cable out of the way a little bit. Take a piece of duct tape. And we'll go ahead and tape the uh, chip into the PCM. That way it doesn't uh, slide around. parking brake when installed and all we have left is to run the cable up under the instrument under the instrument cluster and out the switch. Alright we've got our cable run up underneath the instrument cluster bezel. We'll go ahead and get our cable installed into the switch and then we'll just go ahead and 
mount the switch right to the front of the bezel. We'll go ahead and get the instrument cluster all snapped back together and then we'll go ahead and start it up. Now one of the other things that we like to do once we get the chip installed is to make sure that all the positions are working. Um, we almost always put a high idle position on the chip and you won't be able to hear me say anything once I get the truck started but we'll go ahead and switch over to the high idle make sure that the idle comes up, that the chip is working properly and then we'll go ahead and button everything else up. That's pretty much it.